SCTV is on the air. SCTV now begins its programming day, starring Joe Flaherty, Eugene Levy, Andrea Martin, Rick Moranis, and Dave Thomas, featuring Robin Duke and Tony Rosato. Television like you've never seen before. This is the SCTV Television Network. Oh, buongiorno tutti quanti. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sunrise Semester. I'm your instructor, Marcello Sebastiano. The topic of today's program is communicating in Italian. We will discuss the fantastic vocabulary range of the Italian ANZ. <laughs> I'm going to show some end gestures that you will see all the time, sometimes in an Italian conversation. The first one is achieved by taking the right hand, the palm up, and the cupping the fingers like this. This could mean several things. For example, hey, what are you doing with my wife? Or, I think you need some more garlic. Or, are you crazy or something? If this were a regular part of a conversation, one could reply by shrugging the shoulders and raising the hands up like this, which could mean, I didn't know it was your wife. <laughs> or, hey, why don't you go eat somewhere else? <laughs> or, sure I'm crazy. Everybody's crazy. Hey. Now, for the last gist, I suggest you make one up yourself. I made one up last night. Watch this, this is a good one. Mahumba, humba, humba. <laughs> See, I make that one up last night, I tell my wife, oh boy, she get really mad. <laughs> That's why when you communicate with the women, it's very important to use the eyes. The eyes are the most important part of the Italian's body. For example, you should be able to look right through the woman. You start slow, from the toes. You work your way up and you rest all of the important places until you reach the brain. Then you stop on the brain. This way, she feels the passion you have for her and the respect for her mind at the same time. Now, let's try it one time. You be the woman, I'm gonna watch. Okay. <laughs> See that? That's good. Okay, now you're gonna try it. We're gonna use a real gale this time. Where's the gale? Oh, come here, gale. Oh boy, we got a nice gale. Look at this gale. Oh boy, hello, gale. <laughs> okay, start from the toes first. Eh? Remember, work your way up. Oh boy, big fat legs, eh? What happened? Go to bite you then? <laughs> okay, here come one important place now. You keep going. Remember to rest to the important places. Sometimes you can rest here for a long time if you <laughs> don't rest too long. <laughs> oh, oh. This is strong girl, this is girl. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, girl. Boy, you look like one of I know in Napoli one time. <laughs> what do you call it? Hook? Bimbo? <laughs> anyway, when you're communicating with the eyes, remember never bring the finger up to the eye like this. This means maluk, evil eye. This should bring lots of trouble to this one. So remember, don't bring the finger like this. It brings trouble. Do this. It brings fun. Okay, join me again next week, Marcello Sebastiano, when we're going to talk about the pinching and how you can practice with a small balloon. Ciao. <laughs> hey, fat the legs, you. Hey, bimbo. <laughs> what are you doing there? Hey, madonna mia, take that, and go, hum, da, hum. Count Floyd here, kids. Remember, 11 o'clock tonight, Monster Chiller Horror Theater. <laughs> tonight we have a blood curdling classic. This movie is so scared. It'll chill the marrow right off of your pants. It's called Death Motel, starring Bruno Jarusi or someone like that. Anyway, it's on tonight, later on. Be sure to watch it. It's not Jarusi, though.
Tobias Jr. is the guy's name. You know, for years, whenever I got a cold or the flu, my ma always gave me chicken soup. And it always seemed to work. So I got to thinking, why not share my ma's secret with the world? Right, ma? My secret. I got it from my mother. Here's Bobby. Next time you're sick, ask your pharmacist for Booby's chicken medication. It works. Booby's eye drops, ointment, and tablets. Why be a chicken when you can have one? Booby's, available everywhere. Only one way to get rid of pink eye. Pink eye, schmink eye. Let mama take care of the jock itch. Mom! Do that thing again. Supposed to do it once. No, it's like our theme, eh? And it's gotta be two full uh, things. Well then we we gotta get Billy to leave that thing up longer. Good day. This is the Great White North. I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother Doug. How's it going, eh? How's it going, eh? Okay, you're this is Doug's doing this show on Okay, today's topic gets snow chains, eh? Here they are, right here. Right here. here chill but, these up, will you? Oh, geez. Well, I got too much to do here, eh? I can't do everything. Okay, put them aside. I got a smoke in my oh. hands. And no. Here, give me uh, the smoke. Put this. Give me the smoke. Well, don't smoke it, eh? Don't, and don't uh, booger up the end, eh? You ever smoke two cigarettes at once? This doesn't fit, eh? <coughs> Maybe I can just crush it. <coughs> okay. Give me my. How do I know which one's mine, eh? Do I put it right here? Okay. Okay, go ahead. That oh. back bacon sure smells good. Yeah, it needs a flip. Oh, geez, this plastic spatula is gonna... Use a fork, eh? I think that's better. So, uh, what what are we doing? Snow chains. Oh, yeah, eh? <laughs> They're the good for over. Uh, winter. Well, Here's now you really blew it. The show's over. Good day. Good day, eh? <laughs> well, I was gonna say... Here, this is done. Okay, here, put it right in my beer. Come on, eh? Let's push it down with the fork. Having back bacon and beer beauty, eh? <laughs> oh, I can't get it in the bottle. Because well, you're all, it's all greasy, eh? You gotta poke it in with your finger, like. You're gonna burn yourself. Oh, oh, shit. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's no good now. Can't wear it on the ears. What'd you say? I, well, hopefully it's bleeped. What'd you say? This is okay to eat now. Look. Beer. You have one. I'm not eating this stuff. What? Yeah, what are you cooking for if you're not eating it's it? It's not eh? done enough for me. What do you like it? Culture or what? This year, SC. I'm going to be the head of the sports department. I can all the players' names. Yes, sir, you do. Are you the fellow knows all the players? Yes, sir. Well, who's on first? That's right. Now, who's on first? Who is the name of the man on first? Uh, first baseman. Who? Guy playing first. Who? Fellow's name. Who? What's his name? The name of the man on first is who? I'm not asking you who's on first. Oh, uh, look, well, I'm telling you who's on first, sir. Who's on first? Who? Get this straight. Who is the man playing first base? What are you asking me for? I can't believe this. Do you know who's on first? Yeah, that's right. Who's on SCTV? Elvis and Costello. What's the name of the show? Elvis and Costello. Thursday at 9 on SCTV. <laughs> Danny Eubanks. He isn't just your ordinary seminarian. Because he's not only studying for the priesthood, he's also a rookie cop. Yeah. Holy Ghost to Danny Eubanks. Get over to Horlock Park. There's been a murder. Roger. Danny Eubanks. When he was young, he promised his father he'd become a priest. But then his dad got bumped off. And Danny swore to avenge his death, no matter how long it took. <laughs> Hey! I didn't know you were a priest. I'm not. 
Well, not yet. I, I haven't taken my vows yet. I'm still a seminarian. You haven't taken your vows? No. <laughs> Danny Eubanks, on the altar, on the beat. Yeah? Danny, there's a burglar at St. John's. Right. Danny Eubanks, seminarian, rookie cop. Thursdays at 9 on SCTV. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock, kids, and time for Count Floyd and Monster Chiller Horror Theater. <laughs> Saturday night, kids. Time for another Monster Chiller Horror Theater. Oh! <laughs> Tonight, we have that 3D classic, Death Motel. Ooh! It's a classic horror film. And this film, when it first came out in the 50s, they had a bell that went off in the theater whenever a scary part would come on so people could hide their eyes. It was kind of like a warning system because the film was so scary. Ooh. Now in this movie, Death Motel, it stars Woody Tobias Jr. as the hunchback. And who is he a scary hunchback? <laughs> and guess what, kids? We got a special treat for you tonight. Woody Tobias Jr. is going to drop by. That's right. Count Floyd's going to chat with him after the movie. He'll be a special guest, so don't you miss it. So now, kids, get out your 3D glasses and get ready for Death Motel. <laughs> Incidentally, if you don't have your 3D glasses, just send away to me, Count Floyd. Send $15.95 to me, just to cover the postage and handling. And by the way, kids, send a check, a certified check. Make sure your mother has that check certified because Count Floyd's getting tired of dribbling your checks to the bank. <laughs> and now, for our scary 3D classic, Death Motel. This, of course, is the honeymoon suite. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. We've had some young couples leave here raving about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hot in here, though. I'll just open a window for All you. Right. That would be nice. It'll do just fine. Oh, good. I'll have Bruno show you around. Where is that guy? He's just here a second. Bruno! Ah! Bruno! Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Oh. Is he bothering you? Oh, he scared me. I didn't see him standing there. This man couldn't scare a fly. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry. Is he all right? Oh, no thanks to you. Well, have a pleasant day. Bruno, don't forget to leave some mints. Out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Honey, there isn't another motel for at least a thousand miles. Now, come on, we'll just stay here the night, we'll make the best of it, and then we'll get up and leave first thing in the morning. Oh, Wayne, why all the candles? Well, the manager said there was something wrong with the electricity. I mean, that's got to be the answer. And why all the crosses? Okay. <coughs> why all the questions? Come on. You just get ready for bed. And I'm going to go into the washroom and slip into something a little more comfortable. <laughs>
get a pumpkin? I'm kind of busy in here. Who is it? <laughs> It's just Bruno. He was only turning down the bit. <laughs> you got to get a grip on yourself. Thank you, Bruno. Oh. All right. Here we go. There you go, Bruno. Thank you. Oh, Bruno, uh, one more thing. We're having a little problem with this window here, and we'd like to get it open for some fresh air. Would you mind? talk to the manager, and I'll get him to give us another room. Wait, wait, don't leave me! <laughs> Honey, it'll be all right, believe me. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Listen, I have to go to the manager's office for a moment, and my wife is worried about being left alone. Would you look after her for me? <laughs> He says you'll be in good hands, honey. Thank you, Bruno. Oh, oh, Bruno. Just stay away. Cards? You want to play cards? All right. out that window there was something scary out there oh it was chilling I, I couldn't quite make it out what it was but oh it was real scary Woo! Oh, oh. <laughs> fact, that was. who booked that film last time I got a low budget oh, <laughs> oh that that Bruno was scary though wasn't he kids Ooh, that hunchback, he really, and guess what? We've got him here tonight as a special guest. That's right, we have Bruno the Hunchback, better known as Woody Tobias Jr. <laughs> How are you, Count Floyd? Good to be here. Uh, Hi, Woody. boys and girls. <laughs> Woody, I want to tell you, the, the whole studio was excited when they found out that you were going to drop by, because I'll tell you, you were one scary hunchback. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a living. <laughs> Oh, you know, you look so different in person. Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, the camera makeup and so forth when you're doing films, Count Floyd. I don't make too many personal appearances anymore. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you've been around for a long time. Forty-five years, Count Floyd. Yeah, I, uh, I followed in my dad's footsteps, of course. Well, that was, uh, Woody Tobias Sr. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I remember him, but I'll tell you, a lot of you kids out there, you're a little too young to remember him. That goes back quite some time. Yeah, see, he was a great hunchback, my dad. He, uh, I had big shoes to fill, all right. <laughs> well, he had little stumpy feet, didn't he? He had normal feet. He, I mean, it's just a figure of speech, Count Floyd. Well, yeah, that's all right. Uh, just... uh, look, he was in that uh, famous hunchback movie, wasn't he? That uh, classic 
film. What was the name of that thing? Uh, it was the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Count Floyd. He was uh, he was a Lon Chaney stand-in, of course, and uh, did all the uh, stunts. Did all of Chaney's stunts, of course, climbing the ropes and uh, climbing church steeples and leaping roofs and so forth. I, I truly believe it was his greatest achievement as an actor. He's dead now, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. Well, uh, let's talk about you, buddy. Now, you know, when people talk about uh, horror films, the, when they talk of the genre, the, the, you know, the mi milieu of, of horror films, uh, certain names crop up. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, Bela Lugosi uh -huh. and uh, Boris Karloff yes. and Christopher Lee and, of course, Woody Tobias Jr. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, Woody, uh, have you ever thought of doing anything else? Well, uh, I did, Count Floyd. I'm sure the boys and girls don't know this, but uh, in my early career, I uh, tried character roles, of course. Uh, I was with the uh, studios, and uh, Sam Goldwyn, of course, you remember Sam. Oh. He said to me one time, he says, uh, Woody, you're, uh, you're a scene stealer. My stars don't like it. Uh, you're too charismatic. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you couldn't miss that puss of yours up there on the street. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cat Floyd. You're too kind. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, in later years, uh, this would be the late 40s, early 50s, I, uh, I tried light comedy, of course, and, well, I used to get laughs on my entrances, uh, which I was pleased about, but uh, the films bombed at the box office, and, uh, that was a sign to me that my fans wanted to see me back in horror films. <laughs> well, now, weren't you the romantic lead in one film? <laughs> oh, I don't think so, Count Floyd, no. <laughs> yeah, sure, I saw you. You were kissing a girl <laughs> in a romantic film. I don't believe so, Count. I was never a romantic lead. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been chatting with... Bruno the Hunchback, better known as Woody Tobias Jr., a scary hunchback. And you can see him tomorrow night on part two of Death Motel, right here on Monster Chiller Horror Theater. Oh!